I told Deputy Jackson to meet us. Hey, look. There's a stray horse over there with a saddle on him. Let's have a look. Fuzzy, take a look down there. Jackson, all right. He must have known he was meeting us with the information. Hmm. That makes the third deputy in a month. Well, we've got to get him out of here. Jackson. You're not here to ask questions. All right. Hey, Judd. Grayson's got young Walters in a game over there. Well, that washes me up.
Hey, Ben. Drinks for the gentleman. Coming right up. I wouldn't swear to it, Miss Walters, but I think he's over in the saloon. Oh, I begged him not to go in there. You couldn't have four deuces. Why not, Walters? I discarded one. Just a minute. Are you suggesting... You stay out of this. Well, he's an honest dealer. This whole thing looks crooked to me. And maybe you're a crook, too. You keep talking like that, and you'll be sorry. I said you're both crooks, and I'm going to call the law on you. You asked for this. Ow! You dead. Murderer. It was self-defense. You can ask anybody. It was cold-blooded murder, just like all the other killings around here, and I'm going to do something about it. Just what do you think you're going to do about it? I'm going to write a letter to the United States Marshal. I'll tell him what's happened in this town, and I'll name names. I wouldn't if I were you, and I'd get out of town while you're still healthy. It'll take more than your threats to make me leave town, Bill Judd. Yeah? We'll see about that. I don't mind a man-to-man -man fight, mister. But a man against woman fight calls for some interference. This will teach you to mind your own business. Suppose you tell me what's going on here. That man just killed my brother. Hey, what's the trouble here? Arrest that man, Sheriff. For what? For murder. He killed Al. The man was going for me. I shot in self-defense. If he shot in self-defense, I'm not going to arrest him. The man's got a right to defend himself. What kind of a lawman are you? He should be arrested and held for trial. I don't make arrests on the say-so of any stranger that rides into town. Then we'll round up some witnesses. Which of you saw him shoot down that young man? All deep, dumb, and blind. Well, the boys give you their answer. Now get. I think I'll stick around. There's something wrong here. Come on, Fuzzy, let's help the lady with her brother. I just killed Al Walters. Good. Another one out of the way. But there's still trouble. What kind? His sister. Said she was writing to the marshal. Get her out of this territory. All right, boss. But there's something else. What is it? There's a stranger in town. Asking a lot of questions. Who is he? Nobody knows. Butted in on the killings. Wanted the sheriff to arrest me. Get rid of him, too. But how? You know how. Yeah, I know. 
and he's got it coming to him. He's a wonderful brother. A little wild, but good. He never hurt anybody. Why did this have to happen to us? Now, just when everything was beginning to work out for the both of us. Why, Uncle Bob? I don't know, Betty. We just gotta make the best of things without him. Come on, Miss Betty. Our job is to see that it doesn't happen to any more folks around here. Mighty rich country. How come there are more settlers around? There were, lots of them. Until Bill Judd and his gang showed up. This uh, gambler, Grayson, how long has he been in town? Oh, about two months. But what nobody can figure out is what a slick gambler wants in a small place like this. What are you gonna do now that you're all alone, Miss Betty? She won't be alone, I'm staying on. Thanks, Uncle Bob. With you around, I can stick it out. <laughs> I like your spirit, young lady. Betty, I'll go put up the horses. All right, I'll get supper together. I bet your uncle's a big help to you. Well, he's not really my uncle. Just an old friend of the family's. He was wiped out in the drought about five years ago and came to work for us. He's a little touched on some subjects, but he's always been very loyal. You'll be a little short-handed without your brother, won't you? Yes, I will. Would it help any if we stayed on? Oh, that would be wonderful. Would you? Would you like to stay put for a few weeks, buddy? Hey, that'd be fine. We both could use a little rest. Yeah, it was me settled this territory. First man in the valley. Too bad you lost your homestead, Uncle Bob. Why didn't you start up again? A lot of riffraff moved in, took up everything. That yeah, was sure a fine meal, Miss Betty. <laughs> Hey, hey, what are you, what are you doing? I, I don't want any more coffee. Oh, come on, have another cup. No, thanks, but it keeps me awake. You don't want to hurt Betty's feelings, do you? All right. <laughs> and as soon as you're finished, I'll show you boys where to bunk. Bunk? <laughs> hey, it sure be fine to butt out in a nice, comfortable bunk again. If it ain't one thing, it's another. I'm gonna get me a new partner, that's all. Okay, so long. What's the matter? Are you trying to get rid of me? Well, you're complaining about the life you leave. Oh, I don't see why we stay out here all night when we could have been sleeping in a nice, comfortable bunk, that's all. Because I got a hunch something's gonna happen. You, you mean we're gonna sit here all day? If it's necessary. I can't do it. I, I'll fall asleep on you. Not after all the coffee you drank last night. No, that wore off hours ago. here and sneak up on foot. Joe, you and Crowley bring the stuff with you.
we got enough to burn down ten ranches. Good. Now remember instructions. Each of you take one side of the house. I'll cover the front door so I can plug that stranger when he runs out. Come on, we'll give him a reception. Hello, top guy. Fine bunch of cutthroats trying to burn down a girl's ranch. You won't get away with this. My men will... Your men are all asleep, Judd. Take a look. the shot. What's the trouble? This I'm bringing his three pals there. We're going to burn down your ranch, Miss Betty. No. There's the proof behind you. Kerosene and rags. We might have been burned alive if it hadn't been for your foresight. We don't know how to thank you, son. That's not important. Why are they so anxious to get rid of us? I'll have the answer to that when I find out who's giving them their orders. Judge not smart enough to be the big boss. We'll hold them here until after dark. Then we'll take him into town. That way it won't attract so much attention.
Kind of late, Sheriff, but I don't think you'll mind. Got a little business for you. What's the meaning of this? Oh, uh, these two jumped us as we were riding past the Walters place. What were you doing at the Walters place with kerosene and rags? Lock them up, Sheriff, until we can arrange a trial. Why, what authority are you telling me what to do? This gun. You want to argue with me? Well, since you put it that way. Open up that cell. I expect these men to be here in the morning. What do you mean? Just what I said. Are you insinuating I might betray my office? That's what I'm insinuating. You know that star you're wearing on your vest is removable. Well, who's going to remove it? Maybe the people of this county will have something to say about that. Good night, Sheriff. Nothing dreamed. Well, that was a good night's nice work. Now we can go home and go to bed. Not so fast, Buzz. What do you mean? We still got work to do. Oh, shy. I right, come on. Gives us a good view. Good view of what? The street. The jail in particular. We'll just wait here a while. Wait? What for? Because I don't trust that sheriff. And I want to be around if my hunch is right. Uh, if I'd have known this was going to be an all night picnic, I'd have brought my blanket roll. Relax. We might have a long wait. Wait? Nothing more can happen now. I, I, <laughs> nothing more except me catching a cold. Sorry, Fuzzy. But there are some things we've got to do, and watching the jail is one of them. Wake up, Fuzzy. It's daylight. Oh, my aching back. Now, are you, are you satisfied? No, I'm not. We'll wait a little longer. Doggone it, Shy. We, we could have had a good night's sleep. Hold on. Take a look. That dirty double dealing sheriff letting him crooks get away? Come on, Shy, let's put him back where they belong. Wait. They'll, they'll get away. That's what I want them to do.
in here. I've got a few things to say to you fools. This is what I figured we'd find. Let's leave the horses here and get down closer to the cabin. How'd we know they'd be laying for us? I pay you to think as well as shoot. You knew that stranger was around. You should have been prepared for him. We got everybody out but the Walters girl and a couple of others. And I ain't going to be stopped now. Hey, let's jump them before they can pull their guns. Let's wait and see if they mention Grayson. What's the next step? Get that man in black. What's the matter, Judd? Scared? No, I ain't scared, but he's a slippery customer. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not backing out. You better not back out. <laughs> you want to have the whole bunch out on us? I couldn't help it. Got cold staying up all night. My orders to you are to get the man in black, his partner, and the Walters girl. I want the job done in the next 24 hours. Right. I think I know who that is. All right, boys. See what you can find over there. Sunset Rock. 
Well, let's do something. It's getting awful warm around here. That was a close one. Yeah, now we can get back to the shack and look it over without being disturbed. Then yeah, maybe we can grab the leader. Now, he's too smart to hang around there, but I'm hoping he left some clues. Hey, uh, there's Uncle Bob. So it is. I've been looking all over for you fellas. I just been in town and they tell me the judge and his gang broke out of jail. We already know that. We're on our way to take a look at the hideout now. Yeah, the fellow that gives them their orders was there a couple of minutes ago. And I'm going with no. you. You get back to Betty. Something might happen, and I don't want her to be alone. You're right. Sure. Do you see what I see? Well, that's nothing but a bunch of old spur marks. When we find the man whose spur fits these marks, we've got the leader of the gang. Well, I think maybe you've got something. Find anything in that shack? Not a thing. Then we still don't know who's given Judd his orders. But I've been thinking about it. I've got a suspicion. What is it? Grayson. What's the attraction in Buffalo Gap for a big-time gambler like him? He's here for some reason. Hey, maybe you got something. I hear he got in town just about the time this dirty business started. What do you think, Uncle Bob? Well, it could be. Well, see, I've got an idea. If it's going to get me in trouble, I don't want nothing to do with it. You're gonna do a little gambling. No, sir. Not me. Come on, quit stalling. Don't rush me. I gotta think. If you're looking for your partner, he's not coming. Why not? He met with a little accident just outside of town. Let's play cards. I, I, I gotta have a drink first. Hey, Ben. Give this old geezer a drink. Oh, geezer? Well, I'll have you What do you want a drink? Give me a drink of water. Water? We ain't got any. If you're calling me, put in your chips. Let's see what you got. Floor house. <laughs> now I'm gonna look for my partner. Not so fast. I'm topping you. Hey! That's the sixth time this has happened, and you're cheating. What did you say? I said you, you must be cheating. You know what happens when you accuse people. Well, I still mean it. You prove that or face the consequences. He's my pal. Maybe I can prove them, Judd. 
Hey, Shy, you all right? Yeah. Your men need shooting lessons, Carla. Put up your hands, everybody. Judd, drop your gun. First poker deck I ever saw with all top cards. You're pretty handy with those cards, aren't you, Grayson? What of it? What's your cut on this racket? All right, you'll talk later. I'm arresting you once again, Judd, for trying to burn down the Walters Ranch. And you too, Grayson, for... <laughs> You'll find out. Get on your feet. What happened to Judd? Oh, he jumped me and got out the back door. Uh, hey, shall I go after him? Never mind. We'll get him later. Come on, Grayson. Take cover, Fuzzy. Where'd you come from? Never mind that. I want Grayson to talk before it's too late. Too late. I'm finished. Who shot you? Must have been Judd. Why? I guess they were afraid I'd talk. I guess the boss didn't trust me. I told him yesterday I was fed up with all these killings. I didn't mind the gambling, but... Why did they bring you to Buffalo Gap? To help clear out the settlers. Run them in debt so they'd leave. Oh, you cut. Promised me a section of land. Said he was going to be king. King of the West. Who is he? I think he's crazy. Who is he? His name is. He's finished. Cheyenne, I'm worried about Uncle Bob. When's the last time you saw him? Yesterday after you left. Said he was going down to the south line to fix a rail. I haven't seen or heard from him since. Has Judd or any of his men been around? No, do you expect they will be? You never can tell when a rattlesnake's gonna strike. I'm really awfully worried. Anything should happen to Uncle Bob. Don't worry, Betty, we'll find him. Uncle Bob, are you all right? Yes, I'm going here by good luck. I was over at the South Plain when the gang jumped me and took me to the shack. And after that? After that, they were looking for you, Cheyenne. That's when I made my getaway. Grayson's just been killed by the gang. Grayson? When? Right here, a few minutes ago. Did you get anything out of him? Not much. He died before he could say who the leader was. Well, what are we going to do? If we head for the shack, I think we can trap the boss. He said he was coming back. Did you see him? No, he kept out of sight. It's time for a showdown. We've got to capture this madman before he does any more damage. Well, let's go. We'll take Grayson's body into town, then we'll head for the shack from there. I'm going with you. No, it's too dangerous, Betty. Don't forget, they killed my brother. This is my fight, too. like the place is deserted. We'll go in and have a look around. I better stay outside to keep guard. No, Fuzzy will guard outside. You come with us. The boss was right. He said he'd get them to the shack. Nothing we can do till the boss shows up. Maybe there is. Come over here. See those? Burr marks. 
I've noticed a very funny thing. Spur marks can be like fingerprints when it comes to trapping a killer. Now, I'm wearing one type of spur. Betty's wearing another. And you're wearing still another. What's more, I think you're wearing the ones that fit those marks. Cheyenne! You're crazy! There's one way we can be sure. Suppose you sit down in the chair and put your feet up on the table so we can compare the marks. That's ridiculous. What's the matter? Afraid they'll match? No! I'm afraid. You're a smart man. It's me. Could you? You hear that? I had nothing. Me, who was the first man out here. Me, who settled this territory. It belongs to me, not all the land jumpers that moved in. It's my land, and you nor nobody else is gonna keep me from getting it, Marshal. I kind of figured it was you all the time. <laughs> you hear that? Boss must be having trouble. Let's go, boys. We'll surround the place. I'm sure glad you were on your toes, Fuzzy. I'm taking you in. Hey, shot. We got company. Cover this madman, Betty. They're surrounding the shack. You ain't getting away alive. Neither are you. Fuzzy, take the window. Get him over in the corner. Keep low and don't let him try any tricks. Let's more of them out of the way. There's too many of them, Fuzzy. We've got to protect the girl. You got an idea? Yeah. We'll stop firing and they'll get curious and come in and see what happened. We can try it. out on the floor and don't move. Buddy, get behind that door and keep your gun ready. You, get in that chair over there. Go on, move. Now remember, you're covered. One wrong move and you get it. Now here's the deal. We play possum till they get inside. Then, Buddy, you take them from the back. It won't work. If it don't, you'll be the first to go. Five minutes. They're either dead or playing tricks. We'll find out which.
the Walters girl. She's dead. Hey, boss. Everything all right? Say yes. Have him come in. All right, boys. Come on in. Drop those guns and reach! Be a judge. Drop that gun. Here I come, Judd. Betty, I guess Peter's never thought he'd be prisoner in his own jail. That's just where he belongs. Besides, we've got a much better sheriff now. Hey, Fuzzy. Hey, uh, where you all going? Well, we're going up Sunset Rock to watch the moon come up. Mm -hmm. By the way, here's a little present for you. Uh, what's this for? Keep you awake so you won't go out of sleep on the job. Thank you. 